Madison Bell Jungle Shepherd. And that's the first lap, right? Okay. Right. Now you kind of get the concept of what I'm doing? Uh -uh, here. So you're working him off leash. You're making him heal right back to you. And he's being a little butt hit with the uh, going from bouncing back and forth. If you want to grab the leash again, you can't. It's up to you. Okay. Healing next to you while you're doing this exercise. You know, imagine you were just trying to walk him down the street before without any training. Yeah. And now he's out here doing bite work and he's healing next to you. And biting on command. That was a hill. Did you notice that? He's freaking healing. Do you imagine how much frustration it is for him to walk around in the circle and I'm talking to him and he can't bite? This is like the highest stimulation for a dog is bite work. All right, so this time you and Rio are gonna go in the middle and I'm gonna walk around y'all. So that's awesome. So the reason what I want him to do is I want him if he turns around to see me, that's good. Because eventually what I'm gonna want him to do is spin around you backwards. So if he stays still right now, that's fine. And just looks with his head. Because right now he's learning to heal, which means not to move. So that's fine too. But I'm gonna walk around y'all and then I'm gonna run in at you and have him come. Because you already did the command, so now we're just doing uh, body movement actions. You see how he's looking around? And that's fine. He's just trying to keep his eye on me. Ah! 
good body uh, language he read on me because I stopped and I walked backwards and he noticed that and he says well that's weird why are you going backwards so he immediately came in for the bite so this is what we were talking about when I was like people do level one and they're done this is more your advanced stuff this is proof in the dog so that the dog isn't a maniac you know attacking people not listening to you and doing what they want to do. We got distractions out here. He's watching. He's doing his thing. And he's. Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 So you notice with just you in the circle, he knows who to go hill by. It was a, it's just he didn't know before. He didn't know who to go by. Now he knows, all right, I need to hill by the person that's sending me or the person I'm out here with, which is awesome. He's getting good bites too. So he's he's forcing himself to do these healing and next to you because he wants to get the bite. And you've already tapped him a couple times that you're not gonna get a bite if you're not doing it. So we're using his aggression to force him into obedience. That's what we're doing. So then we'll switch. You're going to walk the circle and I'll be in the middle. I know this isn't as fancy as a bite suit and blank guns, but this is what the dogs actually need. Think about it, people can't get their dog to heal just walking down the street. He's excited to bite me and he's healing with you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that if you put that in the in the whole concept like his heal is not perfect, but he's doing it and he wants to bite me. You know what I mean? I've gotten dogs where you couldn't get them to do anything and it went ahead and do a bite work. Go ahead and get your ball out. So we're gonna give him a reward when he comes back to you. Ah! Ah! Out! Out! Here! Good boy! Good boy! 
uh, we'll give him a water break. What you think? Yeah, he's pretty. It's pretty amazing. Like, I do sneaky things. Like, I'll do. I'll